Yavik tablet. As you can see, it's tab 468. Yavik tablet booting up now. There's a customized boot, boot screen. There we go, customized. Simple, it's just a flashing back. Android 4 boot screen. And here we have the lock screen with the date, time, names of the people, and the lock itself there. Just gonna unlock that. There you go. The Arvik tablet here. You can see Google Play Store, which is what you all want, and the customized boot screen. But to do this, you'll need two things one, to download the Play Store app from the link that I'll provide on YouTube, and two, to download a boot screen animation which I'll provide as well so you can try out the boot, customized boot screen and three the final thing which is the most important of them all is that you'll need a root explorer without that you won't be able to uh, install the play store or the customized boot animation and I will provide you with a Root Explorer APK on the link from my YouTube channel. So you can download all those things from the information section on YouTube. What you will need to do to install the boot animation is simply connect your Yavik tablet, tab 468, to your PC via the USB cable. And I've connected my Yavik tablet here via the USB cable to my PC which you can see there. To do this you must make sure that when you connect the USB cable you connect it to your slave port on your tablet. Okay, so it's just going to turn this tablet over. Now once you've connected it up to your tablet what you'll see in your notifications area is your USB connect connectivity and your USB debugging options. Let's uh, take a look. There we go. USB debugging. USB connected. What I need to do is bring that up by selecting your notification area and clicking on USB connected. Once you click on USB connected what you'll get is USB mass storage at the top and USB connected. Bottom right hand corner is what you're interested in. Turn on USB storage. When you click on that what you'll get is a dialog saying turn off USB storage if you turn on USB storage some applications that you are using blah 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 just click OK to that dialog the color of your Android will change possibly from green to we go once it's connected still connecting to orange you probably can't see it very clearly on here but that's an orange bot now and it should say turn off USB storage you don't want to touch that yet now if we go back to our PC what you should get is your connected hardware What I'm going to do is get rid of my Nero photo show thing. 
click no to that. Now that my USB mass storage has been connected, what I have here is my G drive on my PC with my boot animation.zip file, which I will copy across to my tab 468 drive and in the boot backup boot animation folder. So I'm just going to drag it over from there we go just drag that over to my there and drop it in there so it's copying it across as you can see once it's finished copying it's finished copying I can close my tab 468 window there we go and my PC and go back to the tablet First of all, what you'll need is a Root Explorer which you would have got downloaded from my last video on the Yavik tablet on how to install the Play Store. That Root Explorer is what you'll need to put the boot animation in its right place. First of all, you need to make sure that one, your system folder is read-write and to do that is select ES File Explorer. What we have in the ES File Explorer, we need to click on these three dots for the settings. Go into our settings at the bottom and scroll right the way to the bottom where we've got root options on our ES File Explorer. On the root options, what we need to make sure is mount file system is as writable. You will not be able to set boot animation if that is not writable. Your system folder needs to be writable to be able to copy the boot animation zip file into that area. So that needs to be checked. On how to do that I've explained it earlier. What you need to do is go into the root explorer, check that and you'll get an option to select Synergen mod or high APK you select high APK I'm gonna just demonstrate it for you quickly there we go it's an experimental feature click OK or yes in this case there we go Synergen mod or high APK click high APK select high APK and click OK at that time you will be given the option to mount the file system as writable and you, need, you can now check or uncheck that feature I've just checked and unchecked that feature there once you've done that it is very important that you uncheck your root explorer before you exit the ES file explorer once you've unchecked your root explorer you go back out of this of the ES explorer options back to the main view select your root explorer and run the root explorer now in here find your SD card options it's just trying to do two things at once so uh, excuse this shaky camera there we go what we got is an SD card select that folder and on the SD card folder I believe I've put it in the boot animation folders backup boot animation is what I'm searching for here there we go backup boot animation you may put it in any other folder but remember the folder you've put it put your boot animation.zip file in there's my boot animation.zip file what I'm going to do is select my boot animation.zip file select copy Let's copy what you should have at the bottom is paste and cancel options but if you go to the three dots to bring up the settings 
for your Root Explorer, click home to get to your home settings and scroll to the system folder. Down to the system folder. Once you're in the system folder, scroll down to media folder inside your system folder. So what you should have at the top is slash system and currently we're going to click into the media folder now. So at the top what you should have is system media. Once you're in there what you should have in your media folder is a boot animation.zip. Luckily enough what we do to that file is look, pre press on it for long hold so we can delete it delete the file or you can back it up whichever and now I'm going to replace it with my paste option and I'm pasting my new boot animation file in its place once I've pasted that boot animation file in its place that is everything we need to do so I'm going to click on my home to get out of the root explorer and close my root explorer and ES file explorer apps once I've done that I'm about to reboot the Yarvik tablet so here we go power off options click OK I've just powered off my Yarvik tablet as you can see it's shutting down taking a bit of time okay I'm about to power it back on there we go should come up with my boot screen there's the power on Yavik boot screen is about to be displayed there you go there's the boot screen green bat with a yellow glow around it so there you go that is how you set up your boot screen on your Yavik tablet the boot animation.zip file you can download from my YouTube video this video and it's on the info section the link to download this boot animation.zip file to install this on your Yavik tablet or you could create your own and follow these instructions to install it it's very easy very simple to do okay cheers